Hi, this is Josie in Josie's Farm Kitchen, ready to show you how I make my reverse seared steak. This is very easy. I think it's very easy. So I'm going to show you really quickly. I'm going to have on the side um, sauteed mushrooms. Very quickly, I just want to let you know that I cleaned them off. Don't put any water on them because they absorb liquid. I like to have mine cut up, so I'm going to cut them up and saute them in this pan on low heat. Throw, I have two cloves of garlic that's just going to kind of do the work. I'm not chopping up any garlic. So here's the first thing that we're going to do. I have my oven preheated to 225 degrees. I'm going to pat my steak dry. Pat it dry on both sides. I don't need, I'm going to wipe down this plate. What I did is I actually put salt on it first. Put it in the refrigerator for well, let's say an hour, a half hour, and then bring it out to room temperature. Now I'm patting it dry. Let me lift this up. I want it all dry. Now we're going to put salt on it. I'm not going to put any pepper on it. I'm going to put the pepper on afterwards when I'm seasoning it with pepper because, and I've heard this and it's true, it'll burn. The internal temperature should be about say 125 to 130 and when that happens you pull it out and we're gonna have a this is kosher salt you need to salt it nicely uh, I'm gonna have an iron skillet here and we're gonna just have it piping hot with canola oil and we're gonna put it on a minute in a minute and we're done so I want to put it on uh, like a rack like this so the air gets all around the steak. You know, like that. I'm like what it looks like. Check it out. Yeah. So I have a pan in my oven uh, and I'm just going to put this on top of it. Or you can do it on a cookie sheet, but I have a smaller oven up top. And I'm going to correct myself and I'll put this in the printable recipe which you'll find below. But it's been, I would say, a good 40 minutes, 45 minutes. But every 15 minutes, what I was doing is I was checking with the thermometer and we are just about at 125, which is medium rare. So I'm gonna wait just maybe a cup, one or two more minutes and I'm gonna bring it out. I'm heating up my pans now and I have a feeling that my alarm might go off. You never know. Um, but I have it on, let's say medium, medium high heat. And I'm gonna throw the steak in, and then what I'm gonna do is when I flip it, I'm gonna put it, the butter in, three cloves of garlic, and a stick of rosemary. Remember, I have two steaks. So I'll do that with the first steak, and then I'm gonna put it on this cutting board and just let it rest for a little bit, and while I do the other steak. And on the side, I have the sauteed mushrooms, the portobello mushrooms. Love those. And I made a as you can see, the mashed potatoes. And what this way, the way that I made the mashed potatoes is I took two russet potatoes and I boiled them. What I did is I, I put them in cold water first, mushed them up, not mushed them, you know, did this with them to get the starches out, brought it up to a boil, put some salt, boiled it for maybe 10 minutes till they're soft and you can poke a fork through it drained it, let it sit for a little bit, put um, uh, two to three tablespoons of butter that I melted with some garlic in there, and then put a big dollop of sour cream. Use the, you can put two dollops of sour cream in there. And uh, that's what it is. And then season to taste. So I can feel that this is hot. We're gonna get ready. And also I'm drinking, some Cabernet Sauvignon. I'm not going to put it in this sauce, but I'm going to have some Cabernet Sauvignon and it's delicious. Okay, I have the steaks out. Let's just test temperature again. The thickest part of the steak, 125. I like it medium rare, same thing here. Each side is going to go on for about one minute. Let's do this piece first. Alexa, set timer for one minute. 
I'm gonna have to put on my fan, actually. I gotta put on the fan. This is gonna just, and I'm gonna open up the door. Okay, here we go. You wanna caramelize this steak. And there it is. Let me see if I can poke it. Oh, look at that. Is that not beautiful? Alexa. Actually, I'm gonna just put the steak in the burner back there too. Okay, throw the butter in and the garlic. Three cloves of garlic and a sprig of rosemary. While I'm doing this, watch what I'm doing here. I'm gonna take the butter and you're gonna drizzle it over. Woo! Turn this down, turn it down. This is heavy. You want the rosemary, the butter, and the garlic all to marry together. And put it over this steak, like that. Sleep. does that not look beautiful? And if you got some fat on the side, and this has a bone in it, so imagine how tasty that bone's gonna be. I'm gonna Actually, I want to put it right here on the cutting board. I'm hoping that you all can see. But that looks so pretty. Here, I'm going to let it rest five minutes, ten minutes. And then we're going to plate it up and we're going to do a taste test. Oh, God, that smells good. Okay, everyone. Okay, we are back and it's time for taste test. I've sliced up the steak. I let it rest for about five minutes. It is, I would say a medium. It's not medium rare. I left it on a little bit longer than one minute on each side. With this taste test, remember in the beginning, I just put salt on this steak. That's all I put, nothing else, salt. Now I'm gonna put the pepper on. And I put some fresh parsley on my potatoes. Let's see. And I made some asparagus on the side. Mmm. I can taste that pepper. You know what? Don't put the pepper on before you when you're making it. Mmm. Put it on, you know, I should do, let me taste this, these potatoes because I'll do another video on the potatoes. These potatoes were so simple. I'll do another video on the potatoes. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's gonna be short, I, hopefully it's gonna be very short. I'm trying to make my video as short as possible. I would love to hear your comments. Please subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, turn on your notifications. And I will see you next time in Josie's Fun Kitchen. And also, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this in the other videos, but I'm available for live demos. Yes, I am. So give me a ring or reach out to me on Josie at Josie'sFunKitchen.com. Cheers. Oh, oh, hold on. Cheers, Cabernet Sauvignon, which is good with the steak. Nostravia Givio, cheers.